Hello! Welcome back to Fantasy Star Universe. Probably for sure going to be the final part. What the? Damn! Karen, are you alright? Yeah, but I don't think I can open this door. Mr. Weber. Lou. The central control room is just ahead. If you destroy it, the door will open. Got it. That is correct. Karen! Wait there. I'll open it up for you. Alright, Ethan. I believe in you. Now we just need to destroy this. <gasps> Magashi! I have been waiting for you. Magashi, how can you be alive? You have followed my plans perfectly. I knew you would rush over here if we used your friends as bait. Magashi! You'll die once and for all! <laughs> This is where your corpse will rot! Ethan. Is everyone all right? Yeah, Lou is preparing for our escape. What the hell was that? You can't escape. Dolt Fate. Did my guy actually fuse himself to the control system? This is not Dark Force, this is the copy of Dark Force. Why did my fucking wrecking game go? Oh. 
We got the arms, we can't do that so much. Keep facing it, Tony over you bastard. There you go. Oh shit. Attack is destroying the frame rate. Oh, I'm paralyzed, I can't do shit. This attack being a little annoying. I mean, I like the camera angles it kind of creates doing this. But Jesus Christ. Again? Yep. 
I like this Don Serena unlock. We will settle this here, Magashi. There's Mo Tube. New Days and Peru. Question is, who has the better theme? Dark Force or Dark Falcon? Dark Fake it. You know, you heard Dark Force the theme during the pet theme and Magashi and Ethan had their little sword duel. Oh, hello. Ow. Ow. This is gonna be a difficult fight, long difficult fight because he's like 20 levels higher than me. Gotta make him show his face. Like that! Yeah, there we go. Get the fuck out of the way! Now oh. close. Stay away, stay in the center. So one thing about the fans in our game is that they create some pretty sweet looking boss fights. Done me do shit. Dark Force like the fucking spam the shit out of that one. Everybody get up. And my character in Portable One made that easy as all hell because you could actually do a really really powerful magic. And in Portable 2, if you can time it correctly, you can evade the initial hit. Thank you for showing your weakness. Ow, ow. Is this finally over? Yeah. Blue! There is no time left. The Alliance military will start their attack soon. This place is falling apart. We've got to get back to the land deal quickly. How strange. Why doesn't the Alliance military start attacking? 
Do you think the seed got him? I can see the land deal. Everyone hurry, we can't hold on any longer. My controller is going fucking crazy. I figured it was you. Thanks for delaying the attack. Don't misunderstand. We were just running a little late. Yeah, right. Thanks. pupils did it as I knew they would. They're not your pupils anymore. <sighs> yes, you're right. It's their time, their world now to create anew. With a little hope and faith, maybe they'll lead us into a new era of peace. Perhaps it is now that the true battle begins. Mm. You made it back, Ethan. You're just as reliable as I suspected you were. Come on, you're overestimating my abilities. Tyler, what are you going to do now? Well, it looks like I'm no longer a wanted man thanks to Dalgun. But I don't plan on giving up the rogue life anytime soon. So we're our opponents again, then, are we? <laughs> I wonder. I'm sure we'll meet again, Ethan. Tonio, thanks so much for coming with me to the hive. No problem. You know, you've gotten pretty capable, Ethan. This whole thing has made me really proud to be part of the Guardians. So what's going on with you and Lena? Well, someday I hope she I'll be able to convince her to quit that crazy job of hers. Maybe what I did just now will help them. But guess what? I proposed to Lena. Really? You did? Yeah. I asked, but she hasn't given me an answer yet. Really hope she says yes. Takes the episode three. We'll meet again someday, Ethan. Thank you, Lena. I'm so glad we made it in time and we were able to rescue your friends. Absolutely. Except for all the photon researchers. They're all fucking dead. Dr. Tom Rain's the last of his people. So do you think you'll ever give up this rogue stuff? Did Tonio tell you to say that? I'm not going to be quitting just yet. But I do have to think about what Tonio said. I see. I'll let him know. I need more time to think about what Tonio said. Hey, it looks like... Probability didn't do zilch in the end, huh? Indeed it did not. Perhaps this proves that the power of the heart is not something to take lightly. Having emotions, too. At times, they may even prove useful. Yeah! I like this little better. Mm. May I call you Ethan from now on? Of course you can. Thank you, Ethan. Ethan, you've really managed to hone your talents. So have you, Hugo. I'm not quite there yet, but you? I think you have the power to do something really great. What are you talking about? Where'd this come from? I'm proud to have you as my partner, Ethan Weaver. Thanks. Oh, wait, I gotta talk to him twice. 
No, that's just repeating. Thank you. I'm hoping this will finally be the end of all this craziness. Hell no. I have longed to see my wife and kids' faces. I met them so much. You never told me you were married. Huh? I didn't mention that? Well, thanks for encouraging me to join the Guardians, will you? I learned something really important. You know, I learned a lot as well. I think we all did. From now on, I'm going to count on you to keep your all safe. Same here. Repeating dialogue. Maya! Sorry, we can't help Professor Taragi. It couldn't be helped, but I decided that I'm going to take over his A-Photon research. To make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. Following in his footsteps will help me keep his memory alive. Hey, it's okay. Don't be so gloomy. Karen left all by herself. Hurry and go catch up with her. Okay, I will. Looks like I keep getting stuck with you guys. Yeah, who's stuck with who, you punk? <laughs> Are you all still planning on living as a rogue's life? I don't know. It's a pretty tough life, you know? Maybe I'll look into finding a calmer way of life, like being a gardener or a dancer. Maybe I could be a musician. It's too bad I'm tone deaf. They opened a casino in episode 3. Is this the first time we've talked? <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks a lot for coming out, coming along and helping out. Oh, shucks, ain't no thing. You guys think are bad. You either. Thank you. No. I saw you out there. You got pretty strong. What are you talking about? I didn't really think we'd make it this far. You may look bad, but you aren't such a bad guy. I don't really look bad, do I? <laughs> Alright, that's everyone. So there you are, Karen. You just kind of disappeared all of a sudden. <laughs> Sorry. I love to look at the stars. The stars? The sky is so beautiful from here. The stars glitter so peacefully. Yeah. It's beautiful. You know, I was here when the seed first attacked. So much has changed since then. I joined the Guardians and stared danger right in the face. And it's made me realize something. Fighting for the world is really about fighting for the ones you love. Fighting for the ones you love. I, I feel the same way. Even if I'm not with you, I will always fight for this world. Because you're here in it, Karen. Sonic Team. <laughs> Yuji Naka. Anyway, that ends Fantasy Star Universe. Took a while, but whatever. Now we can move on to Fantasy Star Portable, which I forget how long it would when it takes place. I think it's like a month or two after this game. Play as someone different, who would be the protagonist of Portable 1, obviously, and Portable 2, technically. But, uh, they're not done. It's all like, oh, we defeated the scene, but oh, there's so much more. I mean, there's this game, an expansion, and then two portable games. But there's a lot left. Grawl's gonna have a very bad time in a couple months. A really bad time. Episode 2 gets pretty intense and ends intense. And it's a fucking shame you can't play episode 3. Ugh. Not unless the Clementine private server can um, get some episode 3. But that would require them to really pretty much build it from the ground up. If they do, I'll definitely play on the private server. 
but it's still in its early development stages. I guess. I don't really follow it. But it has to. But I enjoy this game. A lot of people shit on it because after Fans of Star Online, which there's some reasonable re reasons for that. Because like Fans of Star Online had quite a bit of content to it. This game doesn't have some jack shit. Or the vanilla version of this game doesn't. You had story mode, and then that's it. You had extra mode, which is just story mode with a custom character. With no cutting and all that stuff. And then you had online, which is, I'm assuming, it's the same thing, which is like extra mode but online with other people. There wasn't a whole lot of items to collect or nothing. And episode 2 didn't add too much to it. Episode 3 is where the, the game expanded and you had a bunch of new shit to do. Uh, is any recognizable names? Probably not. Nope. But in terms of story, though, I like the Fantasy Star Universe games are my favorite. From this one to Portable 2. But, yep, that's what I'm gonna say for now. I'll let the credit continue. And then next time we'll be into Fantasy Star Portable. I'll probably just do it on the computer, so there might be some. Hopefully, not a whole lot of issues. If there is a whole lot of issues, then, I'm, then I'll just buy some cape, opponent cables for the PSP and record it off PSP. Hopefully I don't get cheap shitty cables this time. But thanks for watching. Check back to later for Fantasy Star Portable. Bye. Ah, that was fun! It's finally over! Oh, Ethan, it's not over yet. Huh? What do you mean? This game also has a network mode. What? Really? Oh, I didn't know that! You still don't really know much, do you, Ethan? Oh, right, like you know everything! I do. And that's why I'm here to explain the Fantasy Star Universe network mode. Network mode allows the player to make their own characters. Wait, so what happens to me? <laughs> Same as me. We both become sub-characters. What? That's ridiculous! I'm the hero! You just don't get it, Ethan. In network mode, everyone gets to be the hero. Really? Participants all get to be guardians, taking part in the fight against the seed all over the Garal system. So then, everyone gets to be a guardian and they get to help us? Yes. And Ethan, you're only one person. We'd be fine without you. Hey, watch it, buddy. Network mode doesn't just continue the story. It also allows for item crafting, selling and trading, and other customizable options. 
And communication is important too. You can meet a whole bunch of other people from all over. <laughs> and I bet that Hugo will only talk to girls. Players can enjoy their own individual play styles here. Hey, that sounds cool. We should hurry up and hop in too. This is a lot different than Guardian training. The network world is vast and infinite. I hope we get to see each other there. Ladies, be sure to keep your eyes peeled for me. Now let's go! Everyone's waiting for us! Okay! okay.